science, technology, and society come hand in hand. But this is very broad. Now, join us as we tackle along the bits and pieces of what it is about. Science is from the word scientia, meaning knowledge. In the olden days, the Earth is believed to be flat and the center of the universe. However, through scientific revolutions such as Nicholas Copernicus, who discovered the heliocentric theory and changed the world view from geocentric to heliocentric theory. Galileo Galilei, who discovered the telescope, led to a discovery that the Earth is round, it is not flat. And it led to controversial topics that changed the view of society and even religion. Fast forward, two of the most controversial topics known today is the Darwinian Revolution and the Freudian Revolution. The science of human flourishing is about ambitious new projects, bringing together leaders in the field of science, technology, and theology to examine some of the key elements that contribute to human flourishing. Human flourishing is defined as an effort to achieve self-actualization and fulfillment within the context of larger community of individuals, each with a right According to Aristotle, the most significant thinker and the most accomplished individual that has ever been there is an end of all action that we perform, which we desire in science. This is what we call eudaimonia. Eudaimonia is a property of one's life when we consider it as a good. He also stated that human flourishing arises as a result of promises friendship, wealth, and power. And that is human flourishing. Human dignity is the ultimate core value of our existence. All human beings are born free and equal in dignity and rights. People make technology even more innovative. As time passed by, it started the rise of machines. Rise of machines may render human useless. Manual labors are gradually replaced by machinery the burden to the company and for better quality production and fast transaction in producing materials. At this time, computers become more sophisticated, like the development of artificial intelligence. Robots now eventually act and decide like humans. But let us not be blinded by the technology. Technology should be used with proper discipline. Society is responsible for the rise of technology, but technology might destroy society if humans use it without proper discipline. Biotechnology. Now what is biotechnology? Biotechnology is the science of using living organism or the product of living organism for the human benefit or surroundings. Biotechnology originated in 2000 BC. It is first developed with the Romans, Greeks, Chinese, Babylonians, and Egyptians. Biotechnology has two kinds, classical and modern. Classical means domestication of animals by using their microorganisms to produce cheese, beer, etc. There are three types of classical biotechnology. First is a selective breeding, second fermentation, and third is the antibiotic. Am I right? Selective breeding means organisms are made to produce an offspring with the same desirable characteristics. Second, fermentation. Fermentation is also called as anaerobic respiration. The main example of fermentation is the conversion of glucose into alcohol and carbon monoxide. Third is the antibiotic. Antibiotic is developed by Alexander Fleming and it is used for medicinal purposes. Antibiotic inherits antibodies which makes our immune system strong to battle the diseases. Modern biotechnology includes gene cloning, genetic engineering, and genetically modified Genetically modified organisms include human beings. The example of genetically modified humans is gene therapy. Gene therapy is the transfer of the combinant DNA to treat diseases. And that is biotechnology. Have you ever dreamt of being in Iron Man suit? Nanotechnology was used in the Infinity War so that in just a push of a button, long sleeve jacket would turn into his iron suit. Nanotechnology is a branch of technology that deals with dimensions that is below 100 nanometers. Nanotechnology specializes in the manipulations of molecules and atoms. The 
concepts of nanotechnology was first discussed on 1959 by renowned physicist Richard Feynman, but the term nanotechnology was first used in 1974. Nanotechnology has been applied to some objects like tennis balls to keep it last longer, bandages to heal cuts faster, and video games and consoles may become faster and cheaper, all thanks to nanotechnology. Topics like intellectual revolutions, human flourishing, when technology and humanity meet, biotechnology and nanotechnology are many of what science, technology, and society is all about. We hope you learned a lot from this video. Till next time, bye!